right guys, today we'll be looking at the criteria for the rubric for narrative writing. The narrative writing rubric is graded based on four criteria. It's content, language use, organization, and grammar and mechanics. Today we'll be focusing on content in particular. So content entails your setting, your characters who engage in dialogue and action. They are also physically described and your plot. Now, what does the plot entail? The plot entails your exposition, your rising action, the climax, falling action, and conclusion. So let's delve deeper into the plot. So when we think of the plot for your narrative essay, I want you to think of a mountain and think of yourself climbing the mountain. So when you start, there is some elevation. So we go up, then you finally get to the tip top, which is your peak. And of course, when we go back down, there's some depression, you get to the bottom. This is what we should envision when we think about the plot. So, at the start, we have the first element, which is your exposition. This is the beginning of your story, and this is where you set the scene and introduce your characters. Next, we have your rising action. This is where the characters encounter a problem or they experience some type of conflict. Simply put, it's the build-up to your climax. Next, we have the climax. This is the most exciting part of your story and something dramatic happens here. Usually, we have an encounter of some sort and it's very interesting. It must be lively. It must have substance. Next, we have the falling action. So this would be the events leading to the end of the story. Simply put, it's where you start to wrap up your story and last we have your conclusion this is the end of your story all your problems are solved and very important lessons are learned that right there is the five elements of the plot for your narrative essay that's a wrap guys see you in the next session